The Battle of Boutsigza took place during the Algerian War in the Berber-speaking region of the Adra Azagzor Massif, at the far eastern end of the Mitijar Plain. On August 4, 8, and 12, 1957, Ali Hodja of the National Liberation Army, reinforced with local units, faced French army units commanded by several generals, including Jacques Massou. Chapter 1, Before the 4th of August 1957 According to the French, the battle followed an ambush near Medea in late July 1957 against a section of the 1st Foreign Parachute Regiment, in which 14 men were killed and 8 wounded. According to the Algerians, a medic from the local unit in Palestro commanded by Seed Willem, captured in a guerrilla action, told the French his unit was in Boutsigza. He knew it was not but did not know Ali Hodja was there. Chapter 2, The Battle Chapter 2 Section 1, 4th August In spite of its numbers and considerable resources, the French army suffered a heavy defeat on the 4th of August. The second squadron of the 2nd Regiment of Dragoons mistook Ali Hodges' fighters for French soldiers and lost many men. Major Azadine said in 2009 that an article in the Daily Le Monde, published the day after the incident, reported French casualties of around 600 dead, wounded, and missing, and according to him the fighters of the Walaya 4 only sustained a few wounded. The article in question, quoting French military authorities, actually said that only 21 French were killed and 18 wounded. The history of the French 2nd Dragoon Regiment stated that the losses include, 29 killed, 12 wounded, and 2 missing. According to the FLN, the commandos suffered only 1 wounded, the rebels killed by the French army being Moose Belines and civilians. Chapter 2 Section 2, 12th August Ali Hodja was joined by other units. The NLP soldiers were severely attacked on the 12th by the paratroopers of the 2nd Marine Infantry Parachute Regiment and the 1st Foreign Parachute Regiment, the French recovered on this occasion some of the weapons captured by the rebels. According to Commander Azadine, some Furkas under the orders of C. Boulem were practically decimated, while a dozen men from the commando were killed. Thanks to his information networks and his knowledge of the terrain, Ali Hodja managed to disengage and retreat with the minimum damage possible.